Hi, Hi guys, guys. <laughs> welcome back to our YouTube channel. My name is Yofi and my girl Jane. Today we are going to answer the most popular question from our Q&A. These questions you've been sending us in IG. Some of them you've been sending them for like 1,000 times. So today we are going to reply a few questions. The questions are difficult. They're difficult? They are difficult. I got you guys, Professor Yogi Green is in the building. I'm about to show you guys how it's answered. Let's go! So the first question is easy. Did you ever date outside of your race before you got together? Why are you asking me? Because it's a question. <laughs> no, it's literally like you're asking me. Okay, cool, cool. So you, you want to answer this first? Okay, let okay. me answer first. Ladies um, first. outside the race, that's mean white and black, right? yeah, or maybe Asian or something, yeah, different race. So, I think no, like I used to date some foreign people, but not outside my race. This is my first experience, and hopefully, the last. <laughs> I know, and the last, and the last. And We're not doing hopefully, okay. <sighs> What about you? All your rich experience. Oh, calm down, calm down, okay, calm down. Listen, YG has been all over the place. I'm an international guy, okay? Everybody knows I love to travel. Everybody knows Yofi Green loves to explore the world. As I was saying, I'm an international YG, okay? Hey, once I left Ghana, man's been outside, you feel me? Uh, so, to answer your question, yes, I have dated outside my race. Uh, please name the races. Racist is just one, yeah. bro. So I've dated um, an, an Indian. It's still a race, bro. I mean, it's not my race. It's a different race. It's not black. It's not African. What is a race, actually? I don't want to get into that. As long as she's not African, she's not she's not part of my race. So yes, anyway, I was dating an Indian girl. So that is the I don't know what race is Indian. Right. I mean, it's not about skin color. But just so you guys know, yeah, uh huh, that's what it was. Yeah. Next question, please. Next question. Mm -hmm. Who wants to reply for it? Okay, let's do rock paper scissors. Oh, bro, it's not like no, that. It's rock, rock paper, paper scissors. scissors. <laughs> 20 minutes later How did your parents react when you got together? How did my parents react when they knew I was there? Listen, I said going back, it's, it wasn't yeah, a shock to them, you know, so uh, For them, it was pretty simple, pretty normal Just like, okay, is she alright? Uh, who is she? Where is she from? You know, obviously I had to answer these questions and told them about her, show them pictures My dad is so cool, honestly my family is super chill, my pops is cool My mom, she was worried, you know, more reserved where she wants to uh, know if you're good If, you know, moving forward in the future, you guys can be able to have like a sustainable life and everything The most thing she was concerned about was the language barrier Where she always used to stress about it, always like, Chani, yo, like, you know, when, when she's talking to her family and you're speaking their languages are you guys gonna understand you know basically so she was concerned like you dating both an uh, indian girl than one she was more concerned about me dating outside my country in my country why? because she felt maybe it can be sneaky behind me something i could say some mom i don't know you know how women are they just think a lot think a lot so she was always thinking like ah maybe you just seen some bullshit behind you sorry for my word but my dad the dynamo very very chill as long as his boy is cool and he's in love. The girl's taking care of the boy. So Lullaby. basically, they were not having any negative reaction no, 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 no. to the fact that you're dating a white girl. Uh, it's not about skin color. I remember talking to your mom after that, like recently. Yeah. Yeah. Bye yeah. <laughs> bye. I was talking to her recently. The conversation just went this way, and she said that when out of nowhere you just came home and said that you are in a relationship, <laughs> and you are, you know, you are very serious. You want to start like a family and everything. Yeah. She was in shock. She's like, honestly, we were in shock. We didn't know you. We just came out of nowhere. She said, because you, Nana is so secretive. Uh, like he's so, he doesn't like to talk. He doesn't like to share. So we didn't know. And one day he just coming and saying that, oh, I have a girlfriend. She's from Russia and she's gonna live with us. <laughs> you know. And your Every mom parent was, is gonna freak and out. And your mom was one. a bit shocked because before you didn't tell them. It was different with my parents, kind of. Um, I don't know. So me you are a whole family from grandma all the way to <laughs> yeah. We have to talk about my parents and we have to talk about my grandparents My grandparents, I'm very close to them And uh, they've been raising me when I was a kid but First of all, before telling my mom, yeah I've been preparing them Good. I don't know how they're going to react They're literally living their whole life in Russia In a very close country USSR was completely closed before <laughs> We don't meet much of people of different nationalities and races And me and my sister, we 
used to live in China. This is where I met Yofi. Me and my sister, both of us, we used to talk to our parents, grandparents, saying like, oh, there is this guy, Yofi, our friend, he's so cool. <laughs> he was always in the picture. So yeah, my mom already knew him, and then when I told her that I started dating, I honestly don't remember. I think she was just calm. My mom was very calm, so it was fine. Then, very interesting was with my dad. I called him because he lives very, very far on a different side of the planet. I told him, Dad, I have to tell you something. I'm dating someone. This person. <laughs> the guy, his name is Yofi, and he's uh, from Ghana. Wow, Ghana, Whoa. Africa. And he said, Daughter, please stop talking. I want to tell you something. For me, it doesn't matter what skin color your partner is or which country he is from. If you are happy, then I'll be happy. And then he was like, I need to ask you one question. Where do you guys going to raise your kids? Because my dad is professor, so he always thinks far. So he's like, you need to think where you're going to live. Maybe go to Brazil, or maybe go to there, or maybe. <laughs> so my dad was super cool Makes and sense. everything. Listen, uh, we both met our parents. It's calm at this point. This point is all good. It's not about skin color. So the grandma. Yeah, the grandma. This one, you need to understand that these people are another generation. It's hard for them. My grandparents, they live outside Russia. So they are a bit, you know, like kind of modern, but still, my grandma is a problem. <laughs> she's very close to me and she's always, you know, giving me some comments. Even when I'm wearing some ripped jeans, she always has something to say. So when I told her I'm dating African guy, she was not happy because all her life she was dreaming. I don't know, but she was always bringing this up that Jane, you need to find some guy, maybe some military guy who have stable job. I was always like, Grandma, are you aware that I'm not living in Russia since like 19 years old? <laughs> oh, blood! <laughs> like, what are you talking about? How am I supposed to be happy with someone we don't share any interest and I don't even know what to talk about? Anyway, Grandma was in shock. She didn't talk to me for three days. Right now, yeah? You're the best of friends. <laughs> she calls him Yufrichka, is her best friend. She's always asking about him. If she sees him on the video call, she said, Yufishka looks upset, Jane, what did you do? She's always asking about him. She's waiting for him to come to visit her with granddad. Granddad was cool since the beginning. Yeah, the boy is a sweetheart. So, favorite member of the family, especially exactly. of my grandma. So I hope you guys are enjoying it up to this point. If you have more questions, like, share, subscribe, and... Leave a comment with the questions that you want us to answer the next time. Let's go to the next question. This question is so popular. The question about cultural differences, what differences as interracial couple do we face? Normally, the first year of our relationship, we've been on a distance. Yes. So it's hard to it tell. It was rough. It was actually very rough. It all started, obviously, when China, we started dating. If you guys haven't watched how we met, the video is right here. Click it and enjoy. You were in China, then we're in distance. Every time when people ask what cultural differences you do you guys have, I don't know what to say, but one is the food. For example, we started dates and it was a big struggle to choose a place where we're we going to eat. Because YG was cool with Chinese local food, all those restaurants with pig feet. And don't blame this Ghanaian, you feel me? We no, like, we like such a thing, such a vibes. Recovery. <laughs> It was a struggle because every time he wants to go and eat something, I cannot even stay inside of this place because I don't like meat, you know? <laughs> and also I remember one thing, it was on a video call and I was sitting there eating my lettuce and some salad with green leaves and stuff. Yufi was on the call. I was eating, enjoying my salad, he was looking at me with a face like this. Oh my god, how can you eat this? You look like a, a goat. goat. You look like a goat! How do you goat sound? Man? Yeah. Man or is she? Ah, uh, she is... They're the same. <laughs> 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 Yeah, I'm mean, like, what? Being trained as a Ghanaian, being growing up in a Ghanaian home, we don't eat veggies, all right? She was eating it raw. In my head, it's funny. But then right now, if you ask me, bro, it's uh, it's a thing. Literally yesterday, he came to me, he's like, Jane, these days, two days, you didn't make any salad, any vegetables. I feel very bad. But can you do salad? And <laughs> that is not correct. Cultural differences. Then for me also, for example, in Russia, Home is something very small. We don't have those big houses, maybe in some cities, but mostly it's a small apartment. Super clean, super close. We take off our shoe from the street. As soon as we open the door of the apartment, we have to take everything off and then like walking inside. There we go. In Ghana, <laughs> big houses. 
I mean, a different type, but normally it's like a private house. No. So you just enter no, how you are, you just walk like this. So this was a problem. Even in China, you always entered my apartment, you want to just keep going. <laughs> and I was, you have your shoes, take all your shoes. Yeah, this is the one. But something about maybe ah, uh, uh -huh, I remember. Bro, you remember? I I can't even remember what culture. That's so. why I'm. Trust so me, I'm an international guy. Okay. I just delve into any culture and I enjoy it. I, just I don't remember. think it's a cultural difference because we are all one people. Thank you so much. So yeah. So much. Ghana age is a very big problem. When someone is older, there's always this respect you give to the person. You know, there's a certain way you need to approach things. There's a certain way you need to speak to the people. I if I see you, if I ever hear you, I'm fine. Shut up. So my sister is. Younger than me and obviously younger than Yuffie. Mm -hmm. The way she was communicating with Yuffie at first, she could make some a little bit rude jokes or maybe it was not rude. For me, it was totally fine. But for Yuffie, it was a problem. He's like, how can she talk to me like this if she's younger? She is younger than me. She cannot say this to me every time. She just say something and he gets so offended. It's not even about sarcasm or anything because she's younger. Here, the age matters. So yeah, so, so there are some things you can't just say to my big brother or someone who's older than me there's a certain way you need to even talk you know and you know at the end of the day it wasn't just all about me I needed to figure out a way to be able to talk then we are all on the same line. that part yeah for me i think also with a serious called trash like damn how are these why are they talking like this it's weird you know mm -hmm. it's and like, she's my small sister and the way she's talking to me also is the and same and i'm like yo she's disrespecting you wow that's wow we can't do this in my house you see how everybody talk yeah. if my dad calls me nana 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 i don't say what they don't say oh, what yeah. I'm like, yes, daddy, or yes, please. But that's how we respond. Like but in Jane, when uh, she's in the house, oh, her mom calls her, stop. Um, at this point, I don't oh, even I take offense. Say, oh, I can say, mom, what do you want? She uh. tell this to my mom, you will not get there. She'll come to you and give you a big spank, bro. Like, bro, what are you trying to say? Like, you need to respect. Actually, I can see because Yuffie has like older brother and smaller brother and sister. And I can see the way they communicate is actually crazy. Like, you can see that the age really matters because the smallest one, they feel like they have less rights than them. <laughs> The it's not right. It's not, not the right. right but it's the, just the level of respect you can feel it. We respect each other, you know. But then there's a certain way you have to speak to elders. It's all about that, you know. Even my little sister has. She knows how to speak to me, and I know how to speak to her. I'm not gonna be shouting on her because I'm an adult. I need to be. All like, no, no, no. There's also that yeah. uh, reciprocate respect. But there is, there is this yeah, extra but respect you, that you we, can see. We you can, can see it. Yeah. yeah, we are more like I don't know. They are more direct with everybody. Without like, parents, and, without oh, brothers. let me get to one. This is one that actually shocked me. So, uh, how they call elderly people. Now, in the normal Ghanaian society, an elder person, Jane comes to meet my mom. Normally, she will have to call my mom Auntie Christie or Mrs. Anyan That respect, that title, you always need to have that thing. Russia, boy, they call elderly people by their name. Boy, I would not be able to get up and call my uncle by his name. Aloysius, what? I get up and I call Albert. What? We're not on the <laughs> same level, bro. Like, we're not on this. Huh, huh. Boy, don't do it. You know, even you yourself, you'll be scared because it's like, you can't even say, you know, you just, it doesn't even come out of your esophagus, bro. Like, your esophagus, it will just block you because, ow! And in the there, she's way. calling her dad. And when I was going to Russia, I was so upset. I was so worried. I'm like, Jane, how do I call your dad, bro? How do I call your dad? It's hard. She's like, you need to say, I'm dead. I'm like, it's hard for me to do this because I'm gonna see him, I'm gonna have to call him uncle he said, or, he said, or no, Mr. Andre. It wasn't like this. First time when he asked me this question, I say, just say Andre because in Russian language, when we address to older elder people, we don't call them you. We say we use the plural. This is the respect we show. In English, you don't have it, so you just call it by the name. Start screaming and say, Jay, what is wrong with you? I will never say this. No, I'm gonna say Mr. Volinchuk, Mr. Volinchuk. I'm like, if you're gonna say this to my that he will never take you serious he'll be just staying there and laughing and saying what is that <laughs> what did you just bring me my daughter uh, and how I was dealing with it uh, I think it's just by the time, by the time was, yeah. like first of all you need to understand that the person is from different cultures so you have to respect like for example when you said that I need to call his mom auntie Christy I said but once she get offended <laughs> because if I say in Russian, I will call my mom to the sounds a bit off. So you have to understand that the cultures are different and you may not understand the other culture, but you have to try, you have to accept. If the person from the other culture says, 
this is like this in my house or in my culture you just have to do it even if you feel uncomfortable for the first time then later you'll get used to it and by understanding this it was hard but with the time we just I mean I got it. to I got to call her dad Andre at the end of the day because I think he was very bubbly and fun so I felt that ease and it was very normal but like if he, her dad was very uptight and that person like you know you just like he just gets up and then goes to his you know it's like it's, you can't have, really have a conversation that one I don't think I'll be able to be yeah, yeah, but then everything being equal, I think everything was good. We've dealt with it up to this point and we're doing an amazing job. Okay guys, so we are done with our questions for today. We are going to be doing Q&A every week. So feel free to ask questions, leave the questions in the comments, DM us on Instagram or ask us anywhere you want. Exactly, so make sure you're all the way through with our social media. Make sure you're following us on Instagram, TikTok. It's gonna be in the description. Guys, do not forget to leave a like, share this video, subscribe. And guys, let's go comment, tell us what you think, more questions in the chat. We'll see you guys in the next video. Peace and love. It's your boy Yofi and my girl. Jay. Who knew I would make it this far? They hated, they never believe me. Yeah, I would never drop the ball. I know I make it look easy. Yeah, May weather with the defense. Honk.